Today I want to talk to you about some perfect logic and read you from 2 Kings chapter 7, verses 3 and 4. Let's take a look at that together. We read this. Now there were four leprous men at the entrance of the gate, and they said to one another, Why are we sitting here until we die? If we say we will enter the city, then the famine is there in the city, and we'll shall die, we shall die there. And if we sit here, we die also. Now therefore come, let us surrender to the army of the Syrians. If they keep us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall only die. Now, the context of 2 Kings chapter 7 is that the city of Samaria was under siege and near total starvation. God promised to turn the situation around within 24 hours. And these verses explain the start of how God did it. Remarkably, God used four lepers to change everything. But first, something had to change in those lepers. You see, these four lepers stayed at the entrance of the gate because they were not welcome in the city. Their leprous condition made them outcasts and untouchables. Sitting there, they asked an important question. Why are we sitting here until we die? Now, their logic was perfect. They would soon die from the famine if they stayed in the, or stayed by the city. If any food became available, they'd certainly be the last ones to receive it. So they decided that their chances were better if they surrendered to the Syrian army. Those lepers understood that nothing would change until they changed something. If they stayed where they were, they would surely die. If they surrendered to the Syrian army, they might also die, but they might die gives them a better chance than will surely die. In this case, it was certainly better to do something instead of nothing. This perfect logic applies in many situations, but in particular, it applies spiritually and eternally. There are two possibilities for every human being. You can do nothing and you will certainly perish. You'll suffer the fate common to all of those who refuse to repent, believe, and seek God in Jesus Christ. Or you can do something. Perhaps you fear that it won't work to repent of your sins and put your trust in Jesus Christ for now and eternity. But remember, the other option, the option of doing nothing, means that you will certainly perish. The great news is that while the four lepers had no promise of rescue if they surrendered to the Syrian army, every person has the firm promise from Jesus Christ that they will be rescued if they surrender to the Savior. Jesus said in John chapter 6, verse 37, The one who comes to me I will by no means cast out. The lepers did not have a promise of being welcomed, but you do. Jesus promises to welcome you. So today, make use of some perfect logic. Surrender yourself to Jesus and receive everything that he has to give to you.